brothers and sisters, God's side is not man's side at all. Write it very boldly. God's side is not man's side at all. God's side is not man's side at all. Numbers 23 and verses 19. God is not a man, come on, that he should lie. He's not. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he will do it. If he spoke it, he will bring it to pass. God's side is not man's side. You know why? Jesus is the only way to the Father. Any other thing you add to God as an alternative makes him to turn his back from you. Anything else, any other source. Psalm 16 verse 4, he said, they that hasten after other gods we multiply their sorrow. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Any other thing you add to God. Psalm 34, verses 4 and verse 5 and verse 6. Huh? I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Look at verse 5. They looked up to him. You can't look up to God and look up to man. And they were lighting and their faces were not ashamed. Verse 6 together. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his trouble. The reason why many remain where they are is because they have too many alternatives. They are actually not decided where they are. They are here and they are there all at the same time. They are neither hot nor cold. So God is not even helping them. Satan is not helping them. They are on no side. But you know to the truth about life is that to be indecisive is also to make a decision. You have decided. You didn't decide for God. Automatically you are decided for Satan. Like we used to say, failure to plan is already planning to fail. You didn't plan to fail, but you planned. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So any time you leave the truth, you are heading the way of falsehood, which leads to death. I am the way, the way, the truth, the life. Any other standard you have apart from God's standard is not the standard. You can't stand that by it. I am the way. So anytime you leave the way of the truth, you are heading to the way of falsehood, which leads automatically to death. Proverbs 14, 12. Proverbs 14, 12. Proverbs 14, 12. Proverbs 14, 12. Read it in one to go. Read it as if you are the one saying, talking to yourself. One, two, go. It leads to death. You can't survive. You can't succeed. It won't lead you to anywhere meaningful. 